Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and thanks for stopping by and watching and also if you're a new visitor to my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button it'd be very much appreciated so in this spray paint art tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to use crackle effect spray paint I'm going to be doing it on card gloss card and also on canvas to show you the difference between them both I'll also spray some on card and leave it to naturally dry over time so you can see the process of a crackling effect and I'll also be showing you how to speed up the drying time by using the flame so for this tutorial I'm going to be using Montana crackle effect spray paint if you're looking to purchase any of this just have a look on the internet or at your local stores to see if they stock it for this tutorial I'll be using crackle effect black spray paint and I'll also be using the white crackle effect spray paint you can also buy these in grey, brown, blue and green colours as well I'll also be using three different types of paint as well so you can see different crackle effects on different makes of paint so for this tutorial I'm going to be using Montana Gold spray paint which is going to be the yellow colour that's a matte finish I'll be using Montana White, the blue colour, which is a gloss finish. And I'll also be using some cheap car paint that you can get from your local store or hardware store. This will be a green colour and this is a gloss finish also. I hope you all enjoy watching this spray paint art tutorial and find it helpful. And if so, give it a thumbs up and please share it with your friends and family. Once again, thank you for stopping by and watching, and enjoy the process. Right then guys, I'm just going to put the canvas to one side. And the first paint we're going to use is the Montana Gold. So I'm just going to spray a line of it here, and then I'm going to do the other two colours, and then I'm going to spray you with a crackle paint. So, give a can a good shake before you start. So just do, a, I'm just going to do a line here. like so that was a Montana gold this one's a Montana white so I'll just do another line here like so and then the next one's a cheap car paint like so so now we're going to get the black crackle paint and we're just going to spray straight over the top so just go up and down motion right so we'll leave this one to naturally dry now so what I'll do is I'll just sit that to one side there so you can see it crackle right just get another piece of card now I'll just say there the same card I'm using the same card for all this so we'll do the same now the Montana gold first spray it there the Montana white blue colour Spray that there, and have a cheap car paint. Like so. And this time, I'm going to be using the white crackle spray paint. So the same process as the black, just spray it up and down. Make sure you coat it all. Like so. So what I'm going to do with this one, I'm going to put that one to one side and let that naturally crack. So we're going to move on to now. I'll get another piece of card. I'm going to put that there. What I'm going to be doing on this one, I'm going to be doing the same with the three colours, but this time I'm going to dry it 
with a flame to speed up the process of a crackling effect. So, grab the yellow again. The blue. The green. So I'm going to do the white on here as well. The yellow. Blue. And the green. So grab the white, same as the black, up and down. So, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to use a clear coat here. I'm just going to set it, have a flame, and I'm just going to quickly dry it with a flame. You want to hold this flame about two foot up above the crackle paint, because any closer will set the thing on fire. So it takes a bit of practice with this, and if it does go on fire, it just burns and then all bubbles up. So I'll show you how to do it. So, you saw that process there, where the thing caught fire, so like that, but you can see how it's crackled effect there, with the heat. So, what I'm going to be doing, is I'm going to do it again, I'm going to hold the flame a bit higher, I got a bit too close to this one, so it's set on fire. The crackle effect looks good, but because the, because the paint's been burned, it leaves these bubbles in it, all over the place. So what I'm going to do now, is I'm going to sit this one to one side, but I'll just show you if you can see, there's a few bubbles here and there, in the paint, where the paint's burnt, and the white will change a different colour to a browny burny colour, so what I'll do for this one, I'll sit this one to one side now, and we'll do it again. So I'll just grab another piece of card, like so. We'll do the process again. As you can see over here, it's cracking slowly, but the yellow one isn't doing much at the moment. So we'll keep leaving these till the end of the video, and then I'll show you. So back to the yellow then. So yellow. Blue. Green. And then just a crackle black over the top. Like so. And we'll go back to the yellow. Blue. Green. So this time we'll use a white. Like so. And this time I'll hold the flame a bit higher and we'll have to do it for a bit longer. It's just practice. As you can see from a previous one, it just set on fire and it's hard to put out. And it can so we'll use a flame now. Clear coat again. Uh, Lord, it a bit higher this time.
See the crackling effect starting to happen. Did you see that then? It just set on fire. That's how easy it can set on fire. So you have to be very careful when doing this way. But you do get a better, you do get a good crackling effect. So I'll just do it again. can see because I put it out fast enough when it just set on fire a bit there's no bubbles or anything in this one and the crackings the crackles gone a bit better so as you can see there see different paint makes different crackles that's a Montana gold one that crackled that's a Montana white crackle and that's a cheap car paint crackle there so uh, that's a black crackle paint, and this is a white one there. So they both crackle the same. The black one crackles a bit smaller than the white one, as you can see. So what I'll do is put this one to one side for now, and we'll do a bit on the canvas. Right then, we'll do some on the canvas now. So what I'm going to use on here, I'm just going to do the black coloured crackle on this one. So. Once again, we'll go the green first here. Like so. We'll do the blue, which is a Montana white. And then the yellow, which is a Montana gold. spray paint spray it on like so and I'm going to use a flame to dry this one as well so there it goes distance away from it so it doesn't sound fire like the others see I wasn't even close then to it and it's set on fire so I'll just do it again If you're not comfortable in using the flame, I wouldn't use it because, as you can see, the paint can easily set on fire. It's very flamm flammable, this paint is. So just be careful when you're using this drying technique that it doesn't set on fire. You want at least two foot in the air above it because you just want to eat it. In it. If the flame gets too close to it, it'll just set on fire like you saw in the previous ones I've done. So. Right, we'll put this one to one side now, there, so that's a canvas one, quite a nice crackle effect on there, if you can see it, there, that's a Montana gold, the matte spray paint, that's a Montana white gloss paint, and that's a cheap car paint, I quite like this crackle effect on here, so I'll sit this one to one side now. Right then, I've just brought these over, back from over here, the ones that are naturally drying. These take a while to start cracking. As you can see, the green ones cracked a bit, the blue ones started, and the yellow one isn't yet. And then we'll go to a white one. And the green one is, the blue one is, and the white one isn't. 
This is due to the fact that the paint on the yellow was dry. It was too dry, so the crackle effect doesn't work properly. The paint's got to be wet when you spray the crackle effect on, so the paint crackles a bit. So what I'm going to do here now is I'm just going to get the yellow, and I'm just going to spray it here to show you. It should crackle a bit more. Put quite a bit of paint on there, and now with it being wet, we'll get the black. It should start crackling in a minute, but it takes time. That's why I use a flame to dry it quicker, so then it crackles. So as you can see, because the paint's wet underneath, can you see it crackling now better? A lot better. I'll do the same with a white here on the yellow as well. So the Montana Gold yellow paint, I'll just spray a sliver here. Like so. We'll get the white crackle. Like that. And you just gotta leave it to naturally dry. You want to leave this for a couple of hours so it properly cracks. But as you can see here, yeah, the yellow has already started to crack like that. That's because underneath the paint was wet before I put the crackle paint on. I find that if the paint's wet underneath, you get a lot better crackle effect than if the paint's dry when you spray the crackle effect over the top. And as you can see there, the yellow was wet underneath, so when I sprayed the black crackle over top, it's crack crackled almost within 10-15 seconds of spraying it. And also, the white one has started, but you might not be able to see that as clear as the black. But if I lift it up, can you see the white crackling as well? That's also because the paint was wet underneath. So when I'm using the crackle paint, I'll make sure the layer underneath is wet before I spray the crackle paint on, so you get far better results. Right then guys, I'm going to show you each one now, the crackling effect. So this was a white crackle spray paint that I left to naturally dry. You can see it's starting to crack in places, but the paint had dried a bit too fast, so the crackle paint had gone on, and it hasn't cracked as well. But as you can see on the bottom one that I redid, where the paint was wet underneath, it started to crackle and giving a good effect. So I'll sit this one to one side and I'll grab the black one we left to naturally dry. And as you can see up here, I've just touched it, but as you can see on here, the paint wasn't dry, it was too dry when I put the crackle paint on, so it didn't crack at all. The blue one started to crack a bit and the green one, because it was wet underneath, has cracked quite a lot. And where I went back and the paint was wet, and then I've sprayed the black crackle over the top, why it was wet, you can see the crackle effect has come out a lot better. So that's the one I left to naturally dry. So you can see how the crackle has come by just leaving it to dry normally. And this one here was the one I dried with the flame to speed up the process. As you can see, it started to crack, but the paint wasn't wet enough underneath for it to give a good crack. The blue one's cracked a bit better, and the green one, because I was the wettest, when I put the crackle on, has cracked pretty good. And there's a white crackle paint. As you can see, it's cracked pretty well. The paint was a bit wetter for that one. So I'll put that one to one side. This one was the one we dried with a flame that set on fire and it's got all these bumps where the paint's been burned. As you can see, it's given a good crackle effect but it's lifted all the paint up. So this is really no good. But as you can see, the crackle effect's pretty good on it. But it's because I got too close with the flame and it's set on fire. So this basically is no good now because of all these raised bumps and that all over the place where the burnt burn paint has lifted. So I'll put this one to one side. 
And this was it on canvas. Oh, just put my thumb on there now, so I've marked it there, but it doesn't matter. So this one was on canvas. So that's a Montana gold there. That's a blue, Montana white, and that's a cheap car paint. As you can see in this one, I used the flame to dry this one as well. And it's given a real good crack effect on here. As you can see the yellow, the blue, and the green. The blue in the middle, as it's cracked, but it's tiny crackles. So, and the white and the green has come out well. So, that's a canvas one. Right then guys, I've just put these here so you can see the crackling effect better. So that was a black crackle, and this is a white crackle spray paint. And just remember that I used Montana Gold for the yellow colour, that's a matte finish. For the blue colour, I used Montana White, which is a gloss finish. And the cheap car paint is a gloss finish, and that's a green one. So just remember, when you're spraying this crackle paint, make sure the paint underneath is wet, so you get a better crackle effect. As you can see on here. Just remember, if you're going to use a flame, make sure you're about two foot high above the painting and go across with the flame, not down towards the painting. Because if you get too close to the painting, it will set on fire and make bubbles in your painting if it burns too much, like the one I showed you earlier in the video. So if you don't feel comfortable in using the flame, just leave it to naturally dry, but make sure the paint's wet before you put the crackle effect paint over the top. And then you'll get a lot better crackle than if the paint was dry underneath. Right then guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this how to use crackle spray paint tutorial and found it helpful. And if so, give it a thumbs up and please share it with your friends and family. And also, if you're a new visitor to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, it'd be very much appreciated. Once again, thank you for stopping by and watching one of my spray paint art videos. I hope to see you all in the next video. Have a great day, take care and bye for now.